everyone this is a session on general aptitude and let's continue with the pyq series the greatest prime factor of 3 raised to 199 minus 3 raised to 196 is 3 raised to 199 minus 3 raised to 196 okay 3 raised to 199 can be written as 3 raised to 196 into 3 cube minus 3 raised to 196 this can be 3 raised to 196 can be taken as common now 3 cube minus 1 this is equal to 3 raised to 196 into 3 cube minus 1 is 27 minus 1 that is 26 now 26 can be written as 26 equal to 13 into 2 okay now we got the prime factors 3 13 and 2 out of which the greatest prime factor is 13 option b next question all heroes are winners all winners are lucky people in friends all lucky people are heroes some lucky people are heroes some winners are heroes which of the above inferences can be logically deduced okay all it is given that all heroes are winners now this is these are the heroes they all come under winner okay these are winners now all winners are lucky people now all this winner come under lucky people now in friends all lucky people are heroes see these are all lucky people okay it is given that all lucky people are heroes we can see that these are lucky people and heroes are only a small portion of it this is this is heroes so all lucky people are not heroes next some lucky people are heroes okay we can see that out of this lucky people some are heroes okay now this is correct some winners are heroes now these are winners these are winners out of these winners we can see that some a smaller portion of it is heroes so this is also correct so an answer is c only two and three a student was supposed to multiply a positive real number p with another positive real number q. Instead, the student divided p by q. If the percentage error in the student's answer is 80 percentage, the value of q is. Now, what is percentage error? That is true value minus measured value divided by true value. Now, what is true value here? The student was supposed to multiply these two numbers. That is p into q minus measured value the student divided p by q so measured value is p by q divided by true value is p q and it is given that this percentage error is 80 percentage that is 80 by 100 or that is equal to 4 by 5 okay now here p can be cancelled we get q minus 1 by q divided by q is equal to 4 by 5 or q square minus 1 by q square equal to 4 by 5 cross multiplying we get 5 q square minus 5 equal to 4 q square or q square equal to 5 and q equal to root 5 answer is option b next question in the given text the blanks are numbered 1 to 4 select the best match for all the blanks your coroy stands dash as an order for standing dash as an honorary fellow after she stood dash writings that stand dash the freedom of speech okay here the correct answer is yokoroi stands out as an author for standing down as an honorary fellow after she stood in her writing that stand for the freedom of speech option c next question the ratio of number of girls to boys in class 8 is same as the ratio of number of boys to girls in class 9 it is given that girls to boys ratio in class 8 is equal to boys to girls ratio in class 9 the total number of students in students in class 8 and 9 is 450 and 360 respectively number of students is also given in the 8th class it is 450 9th class it is 360 if the number of girls in 8 and 9 is the same okay the number of girls it is given that in both the classes the number number is same let it be g then the number of girls in each classes we have to find g now number of students and girls are given so we know we get boys as 450 minus g 
ninth class it would be 360 minus g and now we can equate this in eighth standard girls to boys ratio equal to boys to girls ratio in ninth standard that is g by 450 minus g equal to 360 minus g divided by g g by 450 minus g equal to 360 minus g divided by g cross multiplying g square is equal to 360 minus g into 450 minus g this can be written as g square equal to 360 into 450 minus 360g minus 450g minus g plus g square. g square got cancelled. Now 360 into 460 equal to 810g. Or this can be written as g is equal to calculating the get number of girls is equal to 200. Now the question of the day, if the sum of the first 20 consecutive positive odd numbers is divided by 20 square, the result is. Now comment your answer below. Thank you.